Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to break down the latest teaser for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon. There's actually a brand new scene that was released yesterday, actually, uh, that was very cool. It's entirely new. It's a new teaser for the season and whatnot. So yeah, I do want to uh, break that down and talk about some other things regarding The Walking Dead. So before going further, make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my Walking Dead content like this. We are 18 days away until this show's premiere. So yeah, two and a half weeks away. And it does feel like things are starting to pick up now. There's a lot more talk about The Walking Dead just in general online right now. Right now and what a lot of people are talking about right now actually is the fact that daryl dixon is going to be in war zone and he's actually in a crm uniform which is definitely uh i mean i did a video on it yesterday i might do another video talking about more of the specifics in terms of the storyline that maybe it is teasing for season two though i don't think it's teasing anything for season two but there could be some hints at certain things there's some confusion anyways because a lot of people are wondering like why is daryl in a crm uniform but rick wasn't you know when he actually joined war zone earlier this year so definitely very very off. I mean, are we going to get Negan, you know, like when he actually shows up or is likely going to show up in Warzone anyways? I'm assuming anyways, right? Because Rick and Michonne did right before The Ones Who Live aired. And I'm assuming that, you know, because Daryl is right before Daryl Dixon season two is airing, that Negan is also going to show up at some point, you know, in February or March, like just before Dead City premieres. Though I think Dead City is going to be premiering in March with a lot of the promotion happening in February, but obviously it could be in February as well because The Ones Who Live aired at that point there. And remember, Dead City is going to be like Eight episodes long as well so that's two months long which is going to be really awesome and uh we're going to see negan with his jacket and lucille so yeah definitely very exciting there but yeah a lot of the talk right now is about daryl with the crm uniform which also is related to something else that i want to talk about in a video i'll probably combine it with that as well which is uh the ones who live and a possible season two because there's a lot of uh talk about a season two right now because obviously a lot of people got the blu-rays yesterday um the blu-ray was officially released yesterday and uh i saw that on X actually Dalton Ross who obviously does a lot of the interviews and whatnot with Entertainment Weekly or at least I've seen him moderate some panels and whatnot for The Walking Dead and um, yeah I know that, that Entertainment Weekly has asked in the past about like a possible season two this and that and uh, I noticed that Dalton Ross actually posted on X that uh, you know a, a picture of the Blu-ray and said does this DVD cover language mean a season two is coming? Hmm. Because it says The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live Season 1, which I will say, it's very interesting because Tales of the Walking Dead was released on uh, Blu-ray or DVD or whatever, and there's no season one attached to it. So the fact that they actually put season one here is very interesting because I do think that AMC is likely open to the possibility of doing a season two. I think they're all wanting to do it. I don't know what's going on with The Ones Who Live, honestly, because I know that Denai Guerrero even said something recently about, you know, the possibility of a, a future story or she didn't say anything like they asked her about the possibility of returning it as michonne or could we see rick and michonne at some point in the future and she said i cannot say anything i cannot say anything i can't or something like that i'm paraphrasing but it was basically something like that which is really interesting that she couldn't say anything about it right so she obviously knows something because she was asked about marvel before that and she actually said that she doesn't know anything and she's hoping that she can return to marvel at some point so she definitely knows a lot more about where the ones who live is in terms of doing a season two or if it's a new series or what it's going to be but I feel like because this Blu-ray is called season one, that they did this because a season two is very possible. And if they do a, another Rick and Michonne story, it's likely going to be The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live season two. That's what I'm assuming anyways. And I think it makes a lot of sense. Like, you might as well just call it season two. Don't do a new series because, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I go back and forth on this all the time. Like, a new series could be exciting, but doing a season two of The Ones Who Live, that's also really exciting. So I have no idea. But let's actually talk about what I want to really talk about here, which is the latest teaser here here for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Season 2, and that is that we see Carol uh, actually seeing a plane in the sky. And so obviously at this point here, this is where she gets the idea of maybe this plane can actually take me to France, right? Like, if it's possible. And in the teaser, we see her driving and then she hears something and then she tries to look out into the sky and she's having a hard time seeing anything, but then she looks and she sees a plane for a second and then all of a sudden, yeah, obviously walkers are on the road and so it's probably going to connect to a scene where she has to get out and then kill a bunch of walkers, this and that. But really cool scene because uh, it actually shows us when Carol does actually learn about the idea of using a plane to get to France. Because I've always wondered that, like, how does she meet Ash? Because after the the opening minutes that we saw and this is spoilers for the episode i guess but after the opening minutes we see that carol does learn that daryl went to france and she's just looking at the ocean and it's just like i, I don't even know like where do i start like daryl if he's in france if he's gone like, how am I going to get him, right? And so she's just looking at the water, and she's just absolutely just shocked. Like, I don't know what to do now. And so I think after this scene, we're going to see her driving around and just wondering, like, what do I do next? And then she hears this plane, and so I guess that's where she gets the idea of, 
oh, I wonder if this plane could actually take me to France. And so at some point after this, obviously, she's going to run into Ash and there will be this whole storyline there. The episode is called Kindness of Strangers. And so obviously, Ash is going to help her out here. And yeah, I'm interested in seeing how that all plays out. There's going to be a lot of stuff here with Carol where she's going through a lot emotionally as well. So we'll see that in the episode. And I mean, obviously, we're going to see some Sophia scenes and all of that that will happen here. And that's really how I see the episode going for like the first half of the episode. I feel like this teaser right here showed us what happens in the in the first half like obviously we haven't really seen everything entirely but we know generally what's going to be happening with carol's story right like she's going to be going to that mechanic shop looking for daryl and then obviously she learns that he's in france and at that point she's going to go for a drive and then she she hears the plane at some point after this i'm sure she's going to travel in that direction eventually finding where ash lives and then i guess ask can you fly me to france basically right i think it's going to be what the actual story is here i still think ash is likely going to die in episode one i don't think he's going to be a character for too long in this season just because i mean a lot of the footage of carol later on has her alone and so i just think that it makes a lot of sense that you know ash is likely going to die at some point very early on here i'm guessing in episode one at the very end and it's going to be one of those things where the episode ends tragically i guess where maybe he dies at the very end of the episode and carol thanks him basically because obviously the kindness of strangers right like if it wasn't for him she wouldn't be in france right now i think that's likely what the, the story is going to be here, because I, I'm just also thinking in terms of how the filming process would be done. I mean, obviously, in terms of hiring, you know, an actor, I think hiring an actor for one episode versus two episodes, like it's going to cost a lot more to hire the actor for that second episode. Right. So it makes sense if, if you're doing it for one episode. So that's why for me, in terms of filming and all of that, that, yeah, you know, it, it just makes sense that Ash is likely going to be a, a, a one episode character, but maybe he's in episode two. Right. It depends on how long episode one is i actually forgot i believe that information is out there actually because a lot of people have watched the episode and a lot of people know how long episode one is if you guys know definitely let me know but very cool teaser honestly very cool to see carol actually seeing the plane and whatnot because uh yeah i was always wondering how all that played out here and i'm excited to watch this first episode i really can't wait and uh it, it's it's a long wait honestly it's only 18 days away and it is flying by and i have a lot of stuff happening over the next like 18 days but it's just it feels like it's taking too long and i feel like a part of that has to do with the fact that uh, Daryl Dixon was supposed to be out in the summer, but they pushed it off, obviously, until the fall. And I still think, again, that it was that was a good decision, I think, overall, because I think watching The Walking Dead in the summer, I think for like, you know, if it's Tales of the Walking Dead or if it's like Through the Walking Dead, like a spinoff like that or whatever, like it's fine because it's a uh, I don't know, it's not really re related to The Walking Dead main story too much. And watching The Walking Dead in the fall and especially like early winter and whatnot, it's just something that we've always done. And it just feels like the time to watch The Walking Dead, right? So that that's why I always prefer it to be in the fall and, and kind of like early winter and whatnot, which is what we're getting here. Daryl Dixon is airing on September 29th. It's going to be six episodes, which is going to go until like November 3rd, I believe, or it's at some point in early November or like early to mid November, basically, is when the show will end. And then obviously we'll have a break until like February or March, I guess, for Dead City season two. And that will be eight episodes that'll go until like April or May or something like that. And I guess we'll get a break or something like that for a couple of months for uh, Daryl Dixon season three, though I imagine there's should be another spinoff announced at some point or something else because if it's just these two shows i mean that's really not a lot but yeah anyways i'm gonna leave it here though definitely post all your thoughts down below on the walking dead daryl dixon uh latest teaser here i hope you guys all enjoyed the video i will be posting my q a video tomorrow i was gonna post it today but i felt really sick this morning so i just really couldn't get to work until much later in the day and so that's why this video is out a little bit later in the day so uh yeah the q a will be out tomorrow and then i have some other videos planned as well again i do want to talk about the daryl dixon crm uh Warzone thing a little bit more because it is really interesting. It's a lot of fun to actually see and there's a lot of talk about the ones who live season two right now and uh, I do feel like, you know, it is likely going to happen. Like, it's been some time now that when I look at, you know, what everyone is saying about the possibility of, of Rick and Michelle returning, it just, it makes sense that if it was the end, it would truly be the end and the fact that there's all these hints here and there, it just tells me that, yeah, they're obviously, like, they're working on something. They know what they're doing. They're just not really ready to announce anything yet and so I'm guessing guessing the story's not done yet or maybe there's a specific timeline that they're waiting for like it's something like that anyways then also in terms of Daryl Dixon uh CRM uh I guess Warzone content I'm gonna be playing this actually and I will upload I guess some gameplay uh videos and whatnot just because that is really amazing I mean obviously playing as Daryl Dixon in a CRM uniform is just really cool and I'm just so excited for that but also there was a mention on there of an event called the Road to Terminus and whatnot and I believe that is related to I guess zombies in some way right like 
like Black Ops 6 zombies because obviously that map is called Terminus Island and uh, thank you to whoever uh, told me that yesterday. Someone in the comments mentioned that and I totally forgot like obviously uh, the, the new map is called Terminus Island. I'm really excited to actually play Black Ops 6 zombies. I mean I will say I was very excited but now I'm more I don't know I got, I'm not too sure about it. I'm definitely going to see a lot of the reviews and all that but I I, uh, I likely will play it and I will upload gameplay and whatnot because it's zombies and whatnot. I mean I guess it depends on that because if it's I guess it depends because you're not going to really see me playing as Daryl obviously but uh, in Warzone you would. So um, yeah but if you're interested in videos like that then definitely let me know because I will be doing a lot more uh, content like that specifically with Telltale's The Walking Dead but yeah hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this and I'll see you in the next one.